that day. I said, me and the church. The news went to the village. I have joined that church, that guy that killed his father. So my, my pain increased. It increased. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Nobody wants to know where I am. The news went every. You know, bad news spread faster. I have joined a court church. They sent me to, to, go and, to, to go and study. I joined court. I do this. I did that. I do this. I did that and all that. The one Christmas evening, Christmas day, my stepmother was sick. God said, go to the village. I went to the village. I, I didn't know he was sick. I went. She was sick. I lay my hands on her. The pain disappeared instantly. The news went further. We said it. That is a courtly power. How can the boy we know yesterday come and be doing pray for somebody and the, the sickness we know for years disappear just like that? No. No. He has truly joined the team. But my father said, if he had joined a court, and the court is healing sickness, it's a good court. <laughs> you know, there will always be a voice to defend you. He said, it's a good one. So when we have problem, we go to her bodies. And So if somebody can pray in the name of Jesus, he didn't give medicine, he didn't do anything, he didn't ask us to bring chicken, and the thing work. I think it's a good one. That was how I got rest that evening. I came back. But the hunger in me was still there. I tried to go back to Equa. My friends were calling me. My youth leader was calling me. The choir master was calling me. I said, no, I have left for good. And listen. Anointing don't drop overnight. It touch you and leave you. And then once in a while it comes. It leaves you. It leaves you with hunger. It leaves you with thirst. It leaves you with ah, something touched me. Oh, the service was going on. Where is that thing? Where is that thing? Now it is your responsibility now to now look for that thing and catch it back or touch it. Then I said, I want to go to Bible school. Even the pastor didn't believe me. So you want to go to Bible school? If you want to go to school, I can find scholarship for you in Russia. Ah, very good offer. Because I have this thing to travel out. Russia. I asked him, is there, uh, are there white people in that place? Is there white? Is he abroad? Because we didn't know the difference between Russia, abroad, and I said, is he outside? Is he overseas? Did they enter plane and go? Are there white people? He said, yes. I said, well, that's fine. I went back down and go say, I did not send you. You go, you die. Hey. hey. I came back. I said, no, I'm going to Bible school. He said, do you have money? Because I can't give you money to go to Bible school. You need to go to school. The man didn't believe me. That's my pastor. Didn't. So if your pastor didn't believe who is going to believe you? I went to your sister, mother-in-law. I farmed for her for three days. I was able to raise 600 naira. I bought traveling back, 200. I bought bus ticket from here to Kaduna, 200. I didn't tell anybody. I had 200 naira left. One woman fellowship leader in the church gave me dry akamu. No, this is how they do and dry. And then we used to have one ring boiler. Not this ring boiler that it will spoil. Then the wire will be connected to it directly. Yeah? Do you know? Right? You understand what I'm talking about? They were the ones that did those connections for us. Package everything. They didn't even give me, but I carry it. Put it <laughs> inside my bag. And then there's a lady called Esther. She's late now. Gave me one plate. I put it inside with one spoon. I left to Kaduna. Enter bus from Karupake. Landed in Kaduna. I didn't know anybody. I didn't even know where Barnawa is, but I have the address of the Bible school. So I took a bike, went to Barnawa. And then later, somebody now said, I should go there. It's a sister of his. I should go on. I went to the sister's house. The scholar, there are three sisters in one room. I said, How will I be staying? And I said, I'm a man of God. I want to be a man of God. So I told her, I said, I thank you for the offer, but I will be in the church. So I was staying in the church for three solid days, no food. The 200 that I have, I have used it to buy food. Then the form for the Bible, the, the form for the Bible school was 200. Permit me to tell you this story so that you understand that the anointing is not cheap to get. But you can get it. And that you don't have to be perfect to get it. You just start something. Just start following something. And then 200, I bought the form. 
I was there. Three, I told God, I said, three days now, I've not eaten. You didn't bring me to punish me. I'm going back. They, as if God heard my voice, a man came with pot belly, dropped from his car to Toyota Previa. This best boss, you know, it was one that if you have you a big boy there. He said, Are you Pastor Paul? Some of you don't know my name is Pastor Paul. From Abuja, I say yes. From Springs of Life, I say yes. I said, I saw you in my vision last night. And a voice says, You help you. Have you paid school fees? I said, No. He carried my hand. He went to the director and said, uh, the, Yeah, our director said, His school fees is on my head. I'll clear it. He said, Do you have a place? I said, No. He took me to his hotel and kept me in his boys' quarters. That was where I stayed until I finished the school. Now, what am I trying to say? All this was in the pursuit of something that touched me, but it was not yet there with me, but I need to pay the price to get it. I need to pay the price to get it. Everybody call me name. I didn't care. I didn't care. Hey, you cannot say you want anointing and you are still listening to people. Paul said, forgetting the past. I forget my past. I'm looking forward. I went to Kaduna. I saw people going to school. I saw coppers. I saw everywhere. I said, Lord, I wanted to be like this. I went to Kaduna Poly and bought phone. I was feeling that night to read Catherine and Hotel Manager. I said, Doctor, doctor thing, we are not working. Because we used to have somebody. This man whose son is in our house now. He used to work in Sheraton. I know in those days when they would come back, they would look neat, come back with cake and look fine. And I asked, what did this story? They say he read Hotel and Catherine Manager. I said, hey. So I wanted to work in Sheraton. Now that the doctor thing was not working, I said, let me be fine to make money. I just want something fine, something in a clean environment. You now when they are dropping from their star bus in those days, you see them looking clean, 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 clean. You know? <laughs> I was feeling the phone go, sir. The choice is before you. Life or death. I said, Lord, what do you say? He didn't say anything. The form is still in my file up to today. It's still in my file now. I can show you that form. God said, you submit this form, I wipe you out of this life. You will go to school, but not now. I have a plan for you. An urgent assignment for you. The assignment is urgent. It's urgent. It's urgent. And listen to me. You see, sometimes there are instructions God gives you that you don't understand. What's time now? Five more minutes. We'll be going then like that. The story is endless. I can't tell you all of that story. And while I was serving in that ministry, I was, I was crazy for everything. I was doing all the jobs. I was his PA. I was a resident pastor, Bible school registrar, his driver. Everything all at once. I just wanted to do anything. Just to make sure that he, he, he's not struggling to, work, to do the work. Just want to ease the work for him. I would go in the morning, take his children to school, and come back. I wash the car. I would do everything. Carry his briefcase. We go out. Wash his clothes. Iron them and press them. Something was dropping upon me. With all humility and glory, to, among all the pastors that serve in that ministry, I joined the ministry the way 11 pastors already. With all, I'm not rejoicing. But by the grace of God, I think I'm doing better. The gap is too wide. But you see, some of them were just there for position. Some of them just wanted to get to be struggling about who should be his PA, who should be this. Me, I was busy doing my thing. All I want was service. All I served until there was nothing to serve. So Elisha followed after Elijah. What was it to do? Just to be pouring water on his hands. Bishabio was teaching what I said, and he could, he could imagine that in those days were no napkin. So after eating, he would say, Elisha, you know the man they hear also? Well, well, Bishabio, they hear also, not be small. The house for his mouth. You don't go believe it. The Elisha will bring his head as napkin. And the day Elisha was to be taken off, and you know one thing? Elijah says, stay here. Elijah says, so long as the Lord leave it, your leg, my leg. So you see, sometimes when the anointing will be transferred from the man to you, even the man will not know. Oh, 
just like what was happening on Sunday. Even the man will not know. They went to Peter, they said, stay here. They went to Jericho, they said, stay here. Uh, they don't have, to have to explain that. Maybe on Sunday. They went to uh, where, uh, J- uh, Jordan. They said, he now asked, what do you want? Why are you following me like this? Can't you allow me to rest? I remember so many of the night, Bishop will come and say, Pastor, go and sleep. Leave my husband alone. <laughs> because we will just and sit down and talk and talk and talk. We'll come back like we'll sit down and talk. I know the secret of men is in their words. If you are waiting for any man to give you key, you're wasting time. You listen to great men not because they, they are more educated than you. Some of them don't even know something like you. But you listen to them from them, you hear the secret. What make them? That was when I know his study life. I know his prayer life. I know how he walked with the spirit and how he walked with it. That was how I was able. So I begin to learn the thing. I literally fasted my life to the grave until God intervened. After night vision, they carry me on the ground. We're going to church. I collapsed. CBN. Between that CBN, deeper life and, uh, and the, there's a junction before Karimake. I collapsed. I think, was it Paul? Now, Paul the butcher man. He was the one that came left. He was going to Jukwe early in the morning. I saw him and said, Paul, is your pastor. He's your pastor. He carried me on Kada. You remember? What was I looking for? I was looking for something. And listen to me. This anointing money no go feel by him. It's precious than gold. It's precious than God. Why do we come to church? Is it to come and look for look to somebody who is, is educated? No. The person might not get be educated, but if you carry the anointing, listen to him. Jesus said, This is my son. Hear ye him. What I is I speak like you, hear ye him. You must know the hymn you are to hear. Did you understand that English? You must know the hymn that you are to hear. Hear ye him. If you knock your head, hear ye him. Hear ye him. That I will apprehend that which apprehended me. Something touch it. That is why you are in church. Go and touch that thing. Something arrested you. That is why you are in church. Follow after that thing. And I say, very simple, you don't have to be perfect, you don't know how to pray all the prayer, you don't know how to do all the vocabularies and all of that. All you need to do, follow. Follow Koi. Abi Koi. That is follow. That's what we're talking about. Follow. 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 Elijah follow Elijah for how many years? The Bible didn't indicate. And they said, what do you want? I said, I want the double portion of your spirit. Elisha said, ah, you have asked for a hard thing. But nevertheless, when you see, excuse me, two of us are working. You are being taken and I will not know. That means the sin was not going to be physical sin. He was going to be taken spiritual. And when you show him, Elijah just, just needed one thing from his, for him. To recognize that I am your father. When he showed him, he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen there, he said, now that you see me as a father, you can have what I have. The mountain drop. Until you see your pastor as your father, you may not get something from him. If you see me as your friend, you see me as that small boy on the water, you are wasting your time. Until you see your pastor as your father, then you cannot get anything from him. You will watch and see strangers coming from far to take something. Because you're seeing he's our pastor. If that is what I am, fine. <laughs> but if you want to catch what is upon me, you must see me as a father. I pray for you. May what I carry drop on you. I know I carry something. May what I carry work for you. May what I carry fight for you. May what I carry speak for you. May what I carry work for your family. Work for your home. Work for every aspect of your life. Can I hear a better man in the house? May he find your battles.
What is time now? The time is up. Let's read on. Let's read on. Yes. Brethren, I cannot myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. There is something before you. Next, 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 next. I press to us. So what do you do? He press me first. You have to press. He said the kingdom of God is preached and many press it into it. You press into the realm of the anointing. You don't just sluggishly drag your feet. You press. 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 Follow her. I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ. There is something that is high. If it is a high calling, then it has the capacity to make you high. High calling of God. Yes. Next. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded and even in the... Let's leave that. What I'm saying is follow. Go back to your seat. We'll continue from here on Sunday. But take this few points. Or let me just ask a few scriptures. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 19 to 22, Jesus said to the disciples, follow me. It's not normal. How can you leave your business and follow a man you don't know? That was the first time Jesus was appearing. Nobody knew him. Peter, James, and John, follow me. They left their father immediately and follow. Because something happened. Something touched them that their father could not give them. But in Acts chapter 2, we show that that word they were following after finally dropped. It drop. It drop. So what do you do? Number one, quickly, two points. I'll take for that. Just, just give it a point. Follow an anointed man. Follow an anointed man. The things to do to catch the anointed I'll continue from you on, on Thursday and Sunday. Follow after the anointed man. In following that, the anointed man, I mean, the things to do to catch the anointed Number one, follow an anointed man. I know that that Give him respect. Or, I mean, give to him that he show seed to him. Show seed to him. Give to him. Give to your man of God. Give to your anointed man. Show seed into him. Show seed into him. Sow seed into him. And by so doing, his anointing will begin to work for you. Number two, on that, follow. Number, that's A, number B now. Respect him. Give to him. That's in following an anointed man, you are to give to him. You, no, number B, you are to respect him. C, pray for him. D, shock yourself in his messages. Shock yourself in his messages. If you check your phone now, we cannot find the message of your pastor. All of them, they are there. Bring your phone, let them download for you. Shock yourself in his messages. And some of us are sitting there, they don't even know whether I have a book or not. You don't have a copy. Shock yourself in his messages. And then D, after D is what? E. Observe him spiritually and look away from his flaws. Observe him what? Spiritually. Because every man has his flaws. Observe him spiritually and look away from his flaws. Number two things to do to cast the anointing. Read the word of God passionately. Read the word of God passionately. Some of you see that here. After one, I mean, one week, one month, sometimes you have not even opened your Bible except when you come to church. Read the word of God passionately. Number three, pray and fast always. Pray and fast always. Time will not permit us to go to the scriptural backing of all these points. Pray and fast always. Number four, don't speak against any genuine anointed man. If you do that, you will grieve the Holy Spirit. Don't speak against any genuine, I'm talking about genuine, there are fake ones. So, any genuine anointed man, you know he's genuine anointed, don't speak against it. Have you gotten the point? Or should I go over them again? Number one, I said, do what? The things to do to cast the anointed man. I said, well, follow an anointed man. And in following, I said, what? Give to him, respect him. What again? Let's suck yourself in his messages. And then what? Observe him spiritually and look away from his flaws. 
I once made a statement. I said, I don't care what anybody says on the net concerning Bishop Wedegbo and concerning Bishop Daddy Eadegbo and concerning the great fathers. I said, I don't care what anybody is saying about them. They may have their weakness. I refuse to see it. They may have their weakness. I refuse to see. My eyes are closed to their weakness. I'm seeing their exploit. Because me, I want to be there also. I want to be great. And so, whatever mistake they are I don't, I, I'm not seeing, I'm not in that realm. I am in the realm of their resolve. Not in the realm of their mistakes. So, observe him spiritually and look away from his flaws. And then number two, I say what? Read the word of God passionately. And then number three, what did I say? Pray and fast always. And then number four, I said, don't speak against any genuine anointed man. If you know any man who is genuinely anointed, be careful. You go, people are talking, this pastor did this, brother, this brother, and you know that pastor is anointed. Carry your mouth and your leg and your hands away from that place. Don't join your mouth and use your mouth to destroy yourself. I, I was so surprised that it's, it's a Muslim lady that is defending uh, that you uh, mentioned on Facebook, I mean on the net. She said, she wrote, she said, the church is not your problem. That the church are, big, are building, I mean, mega churches, it's not your problem. Tell your government to build a factory. Tell your government to do that. It's not the church who should do that. It's your government, it's the, it's the responsibility of the government to use the tax payment to do that. If your pastor can use the money you bring and build a conducive place and give it air condition, I think the pastor have tried. At least he didn't eat the money like the politician that will give the money to build the roadway and they will eat. And you are not saying anything. So don't use your mouth to say what he don't know anything. You be, you to be so surprised that 90% of the phones that was used to build that cathedral didn't come from, from the members. It will shock you. I can give you an example. The, the, the temple in Joss, he used 12 billion, over 12 billion naira to build that temple. I can tell you that the offering didn't come from Joss. I was here. Sometimes they will send money in dollars and all of that and all that. Sometimes 100 million from other places he goes to minister, not Joss. How many people do Joss just build the gift tight offering? Just people are very stingy. They don't give offering. If you're from Joss, forgive me. If you have a church in Joss, but I don't blame them because it's a civil servant state. I don't blame them. So if you are from Joss, please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. Eh? Forgive me. Forgive me. It's not everybody. But I, I'm speaking for my, my, for my experience. My friend, Bishop Gazama, he has a church one time and then he bought a car and just another one. And then the church will say that he used the church offering. So one day, he said, after he went everybody to collect, the, collect offering and tie, he said, nobody should leave. Pour the offering, the pour the offering and bring them out and start counting. How much was the offering that day? I think everything there was 15,000 naira. Tight and offering. So he said, can 15,000 naira buy a car for me? And what they were saying, tight, 20, 20 naira, 5 naira. But you see, you don't blame them. Most of them are civil servants. Just it's not a business place. It's a place where you make money somewhere and go and spend do you understand what I'm trying to say? So for anybody to say that he uses the money from there to build, you are just speaking what you do not know. I'm aware that even the unbelievers, we are being used to bring money. I've given testimony how a Lebanese come to his house early in the morning with cigarettes in his hands and smoking in a prophet compound. They were struggling with the security at the gate. Then he used to have civil defense in his house. Fully armed. So you can't enter. So you were seen there from the CCTV camera. And around the person, tell the man to come in. We shot Nika and secret in his mouth for prophet that would, uh, would, uh, would uh, to worsen the matter. He carried Ghana must go. The one to see the guy refused to open it. So uh, of course, automatically he's a suspect. Who knows he's a bomb is carrying. Prophet said, tell him to come. The child said, this is against security. How can you tell them? Okay, let him drive. They said, let him come with his back. He entered the house. I said, I don't know who you are, but I think this is the face that I saw. I was in my house. Somebody appeared and said, I should carry this one and come and give that you are building a temple. And then how much was it? 100 million naira cash, not check. Cash in his house, early in the morning. Not up to two hours. He has rejected 10 million naira here 
a governor came and gave me, tell me that in Transcopy, I was there. He said, no, I can't take this money from you. You have duped your state. You rob your state. Go and give to your state. Don't give to me. He rejected it. He landed in just 100 million K. And they needed money to order for trailer or cement there. An iron rod. They're going to be making this. Uh, is it? One thing about church project is that God finances his work. From every angle. He can use the people within. He can use the people from the outside. So don't speak what you do not know. The church economy is not from the earth. It's from heaven. And God owns the earth. Can I hear you say amen? God bless you. Are you blessed tonight? Come on, are you blessed tonight? <clears throat> the good news is that you can catch the anointing. You can have it. You can have a bed. It is a process. Just like you say, there is one, a process. Stand to your feet. Stand like somebody who is blessed.